ano nga ba ang social distancing? At ano nga ba ang epekto nito sa atin kapag hindi natin to sinunod? Hey guys, kamusta kayong lahat? Sana okay kayo. Sana okay yung pamilya nyo. Kami dito sa Denmark, ito na yung pangwalong araw na nag- nung simulang nag-lockdown dito sa amin. Ano nga ba ang social distancing? At ano nga ba ang epekto nito sa atin kapag hindi natin to sinunod? Bilang isang Pilipino at normal na mamamayan at walang masyadong alam sa medical field, I came up to this question na ano nga ba ang epekto ng social distancing at, at bakit may mga tao na sumusunod dito, may mga tao na parang binabaliwala. Nag-research ako, naghanap ako ng sagot dun sa tanong na yun. So, may napanood ako na isang video, isang presentation na kung gaano kahalaga na mag-stay tayo sa loob ng bahay, kung gaano kahalaga ang social distancing. I will let you watch the video. Uh, I will let you decide kung ano ang palagay nyo. At kayo ang bahalang umintindi at mas umintindi dun sa video. Pero palagay ko, napakalino ng message nung video na to na ipapakita ko sa inyo at maaaring napanood nyo na to. Pero dun sa hindi pa... Uh, napakaganda ng message maikita nyo dito kung gaano kabilis kumalat yung virus at kung gaano kaimportante na magstay tayo sa bahay In any hospital, the capacity to treat patients is limited by how many beds they have Think of this as the number of beds in your local hospital at any given time A couple are already filled by patients receiving treatment for things like a car accident injury or a stroke And this dot represents one person who's healthy and decides to go out like usual They jump on the subway and head into the office where they catch COVID-19. But they don't feel sick right away and might not for several days. So later they go to a basketball game where they unknowingly infect two or three more people. Most of these people will have relatively mild cases, but one might be an elderly person with a severe case who will eventually have to go to the hospital. But these three, who are all infected but don't feel sick, go out again on the subway, into the office, and then out after work, infecting several more people, 20% of whom will need to go to the hospital. Over a short period of time, this process multiplies the number of people going to the hospital each day. Before long, the hospital is full and a crisis begins. People with severe cases of COVID-19 can't get treatment, and some who could be saved die. Plus, people with other issues can't get treatment either, and some of them die. This surge of severe cases causes avoidable deaths. That's what happened in South Korea, Iran, and Italy, all of which went from 100 to more than 5,000 cases in less than two weeks. A lot of people died because they couldn't get into the hospitals. The surge is made up of only severe cases, but it was generated by people who didn't feel sick, spreading the disease in public. Which means the people who can do the most to avoid these unnecessary deaths are these people. And that means all of us. To slow the virus down, you need to act as if you already have it. By avoiding public transportation, the office, crowded places, and even small social gatherings, you decrease your chances of both getting the disease and spreading it. This is called social distancing. If enough of us do it, the virus still spreads, but much slower. Over time, many people might still get infected, but fewer severe cases show up to the hospital each day, never overwhelming the system. This trend line gets flatter, these people can all get treatment, and fewer people die because of it. These are the two ways the COVID-19 pandemic can play out. But this one only happens if everyone does their part. And it's why experts and officials are urging people to flatten the curve by social distancing and staying home as much as possible. Hindi man ako yung idol mo na celebrity na nagsasabi sa'yo na nai-observe mo ang social distancing, pero isa ako doon sa mga Pilipino na nag-aalala at concern sa nangyayari ngayon sa atin. So sana isipin mo yung magiging epekto nito sa kabuuan, hindi lang yung sarili mo. I know nag-aalala ka para sa pamilya mo, pero isipin natin yung mas nakararami. Sino ba tong tinutukoy ko? <laughs> uh, gusto ko rin magpasalamat sa lahat ng mga frontliners, lahat ng mga frontliners. Alam nyo yan, uh, kung sino kayo, kung mapanood nyo man to, 
salamat sa iyo. Salamat dahil nandiyan ka para sumagupa at sumalubong dun sa kalaban natin na coronavirus. Salamat sa iyo at uh, sakripisyo mo. Ito pa, isa pang tanong na pumasok sa akin sa isip ko. Ano nga ba ang gagawin ko kung ako naman ang dumating sa sitwasyon na kagaya ng ibang Pilipino na pag hindi nagtrabaho, walang, walang pera. Which is, ganun din ako ngayon. <laughs> ano nga ba ang gagawin ko kung dumating ako sa ganong sitwasyon na ako lang ang inaasahan ng pamilya ko? Well, eto yung sagot ko dyan. Uh, maybe this will sound uh, ano, uh, parang, I don't know, basta ang sagot ko sa tanong na yan, kahit saan ako dalhin, kahit saan ako dalhin, kahit anong sitwasyon pa yan, basta kasama ko yung pamilya ko, I will be okay. Makakaisip ako ng mga paraan para mabuhay, basta kasama ko yung pamilya ko. And I keep on saying this sa asawa ko na kahit saan tayo mapunta, kahit saan dalhin, basta kasama ko kayo, okay ako. Kahit uh, magdildil tayo ng asin, kahit dumating tayo sa time na wala na tayo makain, basta kasama ko kayo. But, pero sa palagay ko, hindi naman kami aabot sa ganong ano, uh, sitwasyon. Kasi, basta kasama ko yung pamilya ko, kasama ko yung dalawa na yan, si Cheche at si Dakila. Darating, dumarating yung time na nakakaisip ako ng paraan eh. Uh, teamwork kami. So, malaking bagay yung may partner tayo, magkasama kayo nag-iisip at nagsusolve dun sa problema. Alam ko, priority natin ang ating pamilya. Una talaga yan. Una yan. Unahin natin yan. Family first before anything else. Pero, wag natin babaliwalain na meron tayong responsibilidad bilang Pilipino sa bansa natin. Wag natin din babaliwalain yung sinasabi ng gobyerno natin na i-observe natin ang social distancing. Dahil ginagawa nila yon para sa kapakanan ng nakararami, hindi para sa iyo, kundi para sa nakararami. Hindi lang para sa iyo, sa lahat. This video was sponsored by... Hindi po. <laughs> Wala pang sponsor. <laughs> Eee! Sundin natin kung anong sinasabi sa atin ng government, ng gobyerno natin. Sundin po natin at stay safe. At enjoy natin tong moment na to nakasama natin yung pamilya natin. Observe social distancing.